Hello my friends, welcome back. You can see my bra straps, but let's just pretend that's not the case. Happy Friday afternoon for me, whatever day it is for you. Welcome back to another little come through for me video. We have been pumping these out recently. Two thrifting videos in two weeks. <sighs> Mama needs to save some money. But alas, we are going thrifting again today. I went last weekend to a different Savers and then Sarah messaged me like, hey, do you wanna come to another Savers with me on Friday night? And obviously I'm not gonna say no to that. So yeah, we are going thrifting this evening after work. When I went last time, I forgot that it was a school holidays and I thought, cause it was like a weekday and I was off work, it was gonna be quiet, but it was so busy and full of so many teachers, teachers? Full of so many teenagers. It was honestly like, like it kind of stressful. And so I'm excited to go again in the evening because I feel like the evenings are a lot quieter and like it's a sunny Friday night, like people are gonna be in the clubs, in the pubs, in the bars, out in the sun, on the beach, but we're gonna be in Savers where the real party is. So before I get stuck into the actual thrifting, I wanted to just quickly chat to you, talk you through a bit about what I'm looking for, what I'm manifesting for this trip. I mentioned in my previous video that I have a Pinterest board where I basically put all of the things that I'm looking for um, and sort of manifest in there. And then before I go, I like to have a little scroll through and just see, refresh my memory and remind myself what I'm actually aiming for rather than just kind of like wandering and looking through the racks with no aim, you know what I mean? So a couple of things on there that I would love to talk to you about. Number one is basically accessories. I feel like I'm really lacking accessories in my wardrobe. Things like cool little hats, sounds weird, but like, I'll insert a photo on the screen of what I mean. Cool hats, cool sunglasses, cool funky jewelry belts, like chunky chain belts, even cool like hair clips I have on here. Um, obviously shoes and bags are a given, but I'm talking more like small little accessories, I think make a huge, huge difference to the outfit. Things like colored tights, lace tights, cool colored socks. But yeah, they feature very heavily on the board, so I'm looking for that. I'm also looking for some cool trainers. I was saying last time I've never managed to find a cool pair of trainers to thrift. They're always a bit gross, but um, obviously this is like, it's very unlikely that I'll thrift any of these because they're very on trend at the moment, but something even similar, something that will have the same effect. I would love some cute little like chunky buckle ballet flats or um, like Mary Jane's. I think just some cool like flats, basically. Cool casual flats, that's on there. And then there's a couple of other things, but another main thing that I'm looking for is um, Chris and I have just finally organized our engagement celebration after we have been engaged for about a year and a half. Well, um, so that tells you anything about how long it's gonna take us to plan a wedding. But yeah, I thought it would be so cool if I could thrift an outfit for our engagement party celebration thing. We're going to like a winery day tour, so it's not really a party, but like we're spending the day celebrating with friends, fingers crossed in the sun. Um, so I would love to thrift a cute little white bridal-esque dress, maybe some shoes, I don't know. I'm just putting that out into the universe and hopefully something will come back to me. But yeah, amongst other things, they're the main things that I'm looking for today, that's the aim. And um, yeah, I'm excited to go with Sez. I love to catch up with her. We always have a good time together. I'm sure she'll say hi to the fall at some point. And yeah, let's get into it. If you're not already, please, please, please just take a second to subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, it's super easy, it's free, it takes two seconds. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go. So I went straight to one of my favourite sections, which is the shoes, and I had a little look in the men's. I thought these grey New Balance were really, really cool. They were way too big for me, but it's always worth checking out the men's sections for trainers, I think. I then had a look in the women's trainers, and as usual, there wasn't really a lot to go off, but I found these really chunky black sketches, which I thought were kind of a vibe. They had like diamantes and glitter and stuff on them. They just really reminded me of like early 2000s kind of style. I loved how chunky they were and I don't really have that many black trainers. So I thought they were worth a go. I found these brown Converse, which I thought were kind of cool, but I just wish they were high top. I don't like 
the low top as much. Um, and then I also found these black New Balance, which kind of reminded me of work shoes a little bit. So I left them behind. I wasn't sure about the black leather on New Balance. Then I found these other black New Balance, but these were definitely more kind of sporty than streetwear. I then went straight to the heels section and I found the most perfect red pointed toe kitten heel slingbacks. Oh my gosh, these were very, very similar to a pair that I had on my Pinterest board and I just loved the little bow. They were in my size. It was just one of those thrifting moments that just makes it all worth it. There was a couple of other cute little kitten heels. Some of them were pretty beat up though so I left them behind but these are giving kind of bridal vibes I kind of like these brown ones with like the scrunching detail I just wish that the heel was cuter and I wish that it was a pointed toe that round toe was just not really flattering I then found these black Mary Janes did I not say in the intro of this video that I was looking for Mary Janes they were a bit too big but I thought I'd try them on anyway because sometimes you just never know but these were so cute like real old school like school shoe looking Mary Janes and I love the painting I love the buckle they were exactly what I was looking for I loved the double buckle detail on these and I really liked the pointed toe but overall I wasn't 100% sure I didn't like the cutout details on the side and there was just a couple of things that I wasn't sure about so I left those behind and moved on to the bags and honestly normally this is one of my favorite sections but as you can see today just wasn't the day for bags there was really nothing i feel like in savers you either go in and find like six amazing bags or absolutely nothing and there's no way to salvage it and this was just one of those days and that's okay there was just nothing for me i moved on to the accessories and was very hopeful because as i mentioned i want to find a lot of cool accessories but again there was just nothing really that was calling to me here there were some funky hats as you can see a bit of a cowboy moment but not really what i was looking for so i moved along to the pants section and immediately noticed a lot of really good brands. There was a lot of like vintage country road. There was a lot of jigsaw, um, some just really good quality brands for really reasonable prices. And I love this style of like really formal suit pant that's a bit mid-rise, is a very straight or a wide leg. I feel like they're really easy to style and really good basics. So I picked those up. I also found these really cool lace pants with like a fitted short underneath. Um, and like sheer legs and I've seen a lot of these on Pinterest so I thought I would give those a go I'm loving the sheer lace look at the moment I think it's really in and then moved along to the dresses which is also one of my favorite sections I have a bit of a thing for pretty dresses and I found this really gorgeous suit style dress like a very corporate looking dress and I thought this with like really fun accessories even with like the red shoes a little red cardigan kind of a preppy vibe could be really cool and it was mango which is a really nice brand which is something I always look out for when I'm thrifting really good quality really nice brands I always have a little look in the like school uniform slash fancy dress section I don't know why they're always put together but they are and it's always really really cheap like three dollars for this skirt and these skirts are very on trend at the moment so I always make sure to look in there anyway back to the more formal dress section I really liked this pattern and the mesh overlay I thought the ruching might be quite flattering but it turned out a bit cheap looking when it was on that neckline just wasn't great but very cute I like the idea of it I always have a look in the nightgown section because when I'm looking at tiktoks of people in america thrifting they always find the most gorgeous little vintage victoria secret slips that are just so stunning and beautiful to wear as little dresses and i just don't understand why that's not the case here either they're lying or australia's sleepwear section is just really lacking because this is the kind of stuff that i'm working with but i check every time i'm still holding up hope i'm gonna find a gorgeous little silk slip nightgown Onto the skirts, I am really in my preppy era at the moment, I'm starting to realise. Because all this kind of stuff is really calling to me, I love the houndstooth. It was valley girl and you could feel that the quality wasn't great. But I wanted to try it on just in case it looked better on than off. I then found this really cute silver maxi skirt. I love that it's silver because it's very on trend at the moment. I love that it kind of looked like chainmail almost, the knitted fabric of it. I just thought it was really cool and might be a really good staple. I then moved on to the jacket section and 
I immediately found this really cute blazer. Obviously, as I've said, I'm very much in my preppy era and I just really love the color of this. I love the black trim. It just felt very cute and very chic. And while I was in the blazer section, I also found this black blazer with this sort of fur collar. It was very, very cheap. It was only 650, so I thought I would try it on and give it a go. I just thought it was a bit of a fun extra little something on a black blazer, you know what I mean? Just something fun and different. I then found the most gorgeous cream leather trench coat. I was really drawn to this, obsessed with it. I definitely tried it on. Unfortunately, when I did try it on, I noticed those marks around the neckline. They didn't look too bad to me when it was off, but they just looked really, really noticeable when it was on and obviously it was real leather, so it was a bit more expensive. So I ended up leaving her behind. Something else that was on my Pinterest board is like a cute little red cardigan. I just feel like it's kind of fun in between season throw on over like a cute little dainty dress. And there were lots of red cardigans, but a lot of them were pretty poor quality um, until I found this cute one with a little collar. It felt nice and thick and ribbed. It's not exactly what was on my Pinterest board and I'm not sure it would serve that same purpose but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. I mentioned this in my last video but always make sure to check out the swimwear section because sometimes they have fun little surprises. This is actually a tankini top but I thought this was just a very cute little mermaid core ruched corsetty bodycon top. By this point we realised that we were really rushed for time so I didn't tr film any of me trying on or going to the change room or anything but please know that I did try things on. And then I found this little quiet corner as I love to do and just went through all of the things in my basket that I still had, decided what I actually wanted to get and what I didn't really need. I checked things for stains, for marks, and then I also add up everything on my phone, which is what you can see me doing now, and making sure that I'm within my budget, that I'm comfortable with what I'm spending and not just kind of getting overexcited and spending way too much. I was kind of hanging up the maybes, keeping the definite yeses in the trolley and then putting the nose to the side and that's basically my process. Welcome back. It is now a couple of days later and it's time for the haul. Tell me why when you're going shopping and you're not really planning to get anything and you're kind of just going along for the ride because your friend's going that you end up finding so much stuff. It's always the case. I feel like when you're going shopping and you really want to shop and you want to find stuff and you've got money to spend you never find anything and then when you don't want to spend money you find loads of stuff and that is the case um i got a lot more than i was intending to a lot more than i was planning to i'm not complaining because i'm very happy with my items but yeah we have a big beefy haul for you so strap in i think i spent just over i think it's like 101 or something so not like an excessive amount i, I said to myself in the changing room you're not spending over 100 dollars." so i you know, I pretty much kept within my budget, but yeah, it's just more than I was anticipating. Starting off strong, as usual, I will insert videos of them on me so you can see properly, but I found this um, like silvery knitted maxi skirt. It kind of looks gray here, but I promise you in real life, it's like metallic-y silver. It's just very flattering. I'm very into silver at the moment. Silver is very on trend. I just feel like it's going to be a very good basic piece very easy to style you know anyway this was 16.79 so a little pricey for op shop but the quality feels really nice i don't recommend recommend i don't recognize the brand sandwich the label looks kind of vintagey it's all really nicely lined it's really comfortable it's got a big thick elastic waist and yeah just a win i feel like this is going to be a good piece that i can wear like all year round you know i can wear this with a cute little crop in summer or i could wear this like layered up with boots for winter. Love her. Carrying on on the bottom half trend, I was very close to not getting these. I almost put them back, but I'm really glad that I did. These are just like brown, neutrally tailored pants. They're just in a really nice straight leg. I love the waistband on these. Sort of a mid-rise 90s-ish fit. And the brand is Jigsaw, which is a really good brand those that don't know um it's pretty expensive i had a look on their website and their their trousers are like anywhere from like 250 to like 600 dollars, and i paid 1050 for these i can't complain i was saying in my last video that i really struggled to find pants or trousers that fit me well just my proportions are just a bit odd and so i feel like when i do find them that fit well that i like that are good quality it's like i just have to i also don't really have any like brown Pants. So yeah, I don't know why I was about to put them back, um, but I'm really glad that I got them and I love them. 
two great like staple bottom half pieces, you know. Whilst we're down in the bottom region, these are, were on my Pinterest board. I'm telling you, Pinterest board thrift manifestations are real, okay? And if you're not doing it, you're missing a trick. I needed some sort of red shoe, either like flats like I was talking about. I don't know, I didn't really care. But I found these cute little red slingback kitten heels. They're a pointed toe. They have a little bow on them. And I just love them. They also have the original tags on, which is nice. They're not all like worn and gross and falling apart. They're in great condition. They've got a little leather insole situation. And yeah, these were $15.79. Not bad really for a pair of heels. Uh, a brand new pair of heels, might I add. There's not much else I can say about these. It was one of those moments in thrifting that just give you such an adrenaline rush when you find something that's so perfect that you really wanted. And it's just like, this is, it's just the reason that I love thrifting so much. You don't get that same rush when you're in a shop, you know? Okay, on to top halves, jackets. So another thing that was on my Pinterest board is like a cute little red cardigan. And I came across this guy, which is a bit different to what I was originally wanting. I'm still undecided as to whether it's cute or not. I won't lie to you but it was $5.79. So I thought, I'll just give it a go, see if I wear it. If not, it's like the price of a coffee, you know? I can sell it on. Um, the only thing I'm unsure about is that it's quite a long line, which makes it feel a bit like grandma, but I really like just the little like ribbed cardigan. It's got a little collar, which is so cute, buttons up the front. I think because when I was trying these things on in the shop, I had like a little bow in my hair. And so it was making everything grandma-y look already preppy and cute. <laughs> But you get the vibe, like preppy, even maybe with the shoes, with like socks and a cute little mini skirt and this. It's just like preppy, cute, good for the in-between seasons where you just want a little layer, but you don't really want a coat. And as I have mentioned before, I'm obsessed with red at the moment. So I just went for it, you know? That's the one that I'm most unsure about, but I think I can make it cute. Another one that I was also a little bit in-between on, but it was $6.50, is this jacket. Basically just a black blazer, but it has like a, a fur, is this tiger print? Like faux fur collar. I don't know, it just felt cool. It just felt really cool. I feel like it's just a little elevation on a casual fit, even just for the office. Like this with like the brown pants and a black top, do you know what I mean? Just very easy, um, making the outfit a little bit more cool, a little bit more edgy. And um, again, like a really cute little vintage sort of vibe with the brand. It's got like chunky shoulder pads, which I thought was quite cool, a fun fit. I just felt like it was a bit fun. And again, it was very, very affordable. So even if I don't wear it much and I sell it on, still a good find, I think. And then lastly on the jacket front, this blue blazer, which again, definitely belonged to someone's grandma, but I basically just love the color of it. I don't have a jacket in blue. Um, and it was like quite an, quite an understated blue because it's sort of if you can see like woven in with the black but it just feels like a fun but muted pop of color i also love that it has like the black trim details around the collar and on where else are they on the pockets and the black buttons it just feels very like sophisticated put together again with the black bow in my hair in the shop it was giving <laughs> cool preppy vibes and yeah i think i can just style it cute i think it'd be good for like work and things like that Again, fun shoulder pads, really nice fit, a bit oversized, really loved it. And this was $11.79. And once again, a lovely little vintage brand. Never heard of them, but... Hello, it is Editing Ellen from the future. And I just wanted to hop in to say that I have realised that this jacket is exactly the same as a jacket that Elphaba wears in the musical Wicked. This is very niche, but um, now I can't unsee it. I saw a TikTok of whoever was playing Elf Bell on Broadway, like getting ready for the show, and she literally was wearing this jacket. So I had to call it out. I'll insert it on the screen. But lol. Maybe I'll go as Elf Bell for Halloween this year. That's all. Carry on. On to the dresses. When I insert the video of this, you'll see what it looks like now, and then I kind of show you my vision for it. Because I basically want to shorten this, but oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. It's like a hot pink strapless dress with this like ruffle detail all the way down the front. It's so flattering because it has this sort of gather around the waist and like really draws you in. It also has like a great like a rubber band around the neckline to keep it up. Um, and it's also got cups 
in the boobs but I basically want to shorten it a bit but keep the ruffle down the front so I need to figure out how to do that I need to get some thread this color but I just thought this for like a girl's night in summer sipping cocktails on a little rooftop bar a little beach bar you see the vision it's so cute and I just feel like I'm very pale right now you can see that I'm like Casper blending into this wall but when I have a tan I love these bright pops of color and I, I'm just obsessed with it. This was $9.99. Also, I have mentioned this before, but make sure you always check at least a size above and below your normal size when you're thrifting because this is a size eight and I'm definitely not, I'm like more of a 10, if not a 12 in my bottom half. And um, yeah, for some reason I just thought, oh, I'll just get it because it's cute and I'll try it on. And it fits like a glove, so um Sizes across brands aren't consistent at all. So when you're thrifting and you're shopping from thousands of different brands, it can go either way. So just, yeah, keep yourself open to options. Someone in dress heaven was looking down on me. Let me tell you, I'm obsessed with this dress so much. And I know this is not gonna be for everyone and I do respect that, specifically this situation and like the bubble skirt, I get it. But this is another strapless mini dress. It is like black um what is this like velvet on the top half it has if you'll be able to see but like this little ruche detail in the center of the chest and then the bottom half is this like champagne little poofy puffball mini skirt and then this is almost like a rose sort of waterfall situation <laughs> down the side sounds like a lot it is a lot but this just reminds me of like 2000s little prom dresses sex in the city carrie would have a thousand percent worn this and i love it i mentioned at the start of this video that i was keeping my eye out for something for our engagement celebration day and at first i was looking for like something white or ivory or whatever and then i tried this on and i feel like this might be the one you know because it has like the bridal aspect with this like this is very wedding dress material in like the champagne color but then it also has something that's a little bit different and a little bit more just like chill and less bridal. Um, I think if I get like a champagne-y colored bow for my hair or something and just wear like cute cream little heels, I think this is like a good mix of the two. So I think this might be my dress for my party, which is again, something that I manifested. This was $7.99. What? The most bargainy of bargains ever. Oh, this is also size eight. I didn't even know that. Well, that just reiterates my point. This also fits like a glove and it's apparently a size too small for me. So always check out the sizes. And then while I'm on the topic of that dress, because I might wear this with it, I found this really cute little scarf shawl vibe and it's just black sheer. It's like lace and then like crinkly. I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean? It's like crinkly fabric and it's just gorgeous and just so flowy and feminine and beautiful. I feel like that with the strapless dress would be really cute. This was $7.99, does a job. I thought, yeah, this is a scarf or like open like that as a shawl for like a bit more of a formal occasion. It's beautiful. And then last, but by no means least, this dress was in the Halloween section. So there was a whole Halloween section in there that was, at first it looks like masks and witches hats and like all sorts of random stuff. So I didn't even bother looking at it. But then last minute I was kind of walking past and I noticed that they'd put like, wrap like chunks of clothes together that were apparently halloween related but they were just closed in the normal store but they were priced way cheaper because they were in the halloween section so there was like a whole chunk of things that were like black like lace and corsets and like really cool fabrics and stuff so this dress was 7.99 from the halloween section but like it's a cool dress so this is a potential for me for melbourne fashion week which is coming up in a few weeks we're just in the process of trying to figure out what we're going to wear sarah and i because obviously we're going together and it's basically just a black sheer lace midi dress and it's got really cute little ruffles on the sleeves and all around the neckline it's really hard for you to see because it's obviously like see-through and then at the bottom it's this more like intricate lace with these cute little lilac like pinky lilac flowers all over so cute and i feel like this sort of sheer lace Dresses, pants, bodycon, suits is very in at the moment. I've seen a lot of that like around Pinterest. So I was thinking this with like black underwear underneath and then keeping it sheer maybe with some like boots or something. I'm not sure. 
I need to have a play around and a try on and with different accessories and things, but I thought this could be really cool for fashion week. I could also wear it in summer as like a bikini cover up on holiday. Me again. So my camera just decided to stop filming at this point, apparently. And I just come to notice now as I'm editing it. Luckily that was the last item in the haul, so, but um, it cut out all of my endings. So I just wanted to come in and say thank you so much for watching. I also mentioned that obviously Fashion Week is coming up, it's in a couple of weeks and there's going to be lots of content around that, around putting my outfits together. I want to potentially make something for one of the Fashion Week events. I'm also going to vlog going to the runways and it's all going to be lots of fun stuff. So make sure you're subscribed and you keep an eye out for that. Sorry about this chaotic ending. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video.